You guys, you set back there. Okay, we'll start with an opening statement from Coach, and then we'll go to questions. Well, uh, you know, first of all, this this is why you want to be in this league. It's just an un unbelievable. Um, night in and night out, you're playing uh, great teams in great environments, and it's a slugfest, and um, players just make plays one after another, and uh, I'm so proud of our guys. Um, you know, there's, there's always opportunities at, at, through the course of a season and through the course of a game that you know, to pack it in, and these guys, they're, they're not quitters. Um, uh, we, we really... You know, our, our struggles to this point have um, been more um, connection struggles rather than, you know, physical ability struggles. And uh, as a staff, we, we, we're trying to spend more time, you know, with those connections. I have to do a better job with our guys and connect with their hearts. Um, and uh, I think that's that's like the first step. I want to thank our fans. They were an unbelievable night. I say every night, you know, home court. If you have a home court advantage, it's a plus 10. And they might have been a plus 15 tonight. So, um, and then, you know, obviously, uh, you know, Kansas is an unbelievable team and program. And so anytime you can beat a team like that, uh, it goes a long way in building confidence and helping you get to the ultimate goal. Uh, Jerome, you guys kept the fans off the court. It looked like you wanted to keep them off. Why was that? And then what spurred you to go jump in and celebrate with them? <laughs> well, th these are two of like the most proudest moments for me being here. Um, and that when you can beat a nationally ranked team, uh, Baylor was top 10 and Kansas is top five, and your fans don't storm the court. Uh, we're building an expectation of these are the games that we're going to win and we're going to be that kind of a program. And I asked our fans uh, last year, I said we'd get one court storming and after that, like, let's have an expectation uh, that we're going to win. And, you know, I, I, I never see um, them storm the court at, at Allen Fieldhouse. I never see them storm the court at Duke and at North Carolina. And I, I don't believe there's any reason why, um, given time, and, and the opportunity that we can't build that kind of a program here in Manhattan, Kansas. Just how did it feel it was critical to get that 11-0 run in the second half when you fell down 41-30? <laughs> well, I, I felt it was critical uh, that we don't give up transition layups right out of, uh, you know, halftime. And, um, you know, so the timeout was to get them refocused. And I thought our guys did a great job. TP made... Like, I mean, I think he had an 8-0 run on, on his own, uh, but the guys, like, locked back in, and um, the fact that we was able to make it a ball game again and put some score pressure on him, that helped us. Gerald Colbert, I think, was plus 21 without scoring a point. What can you say for what he provided you guys tonight? Yeah, no, Jarrell has been working hard. we got to give a lot of credit to our GAs. Um, they spend a lot of time with them. Coach Marco and Coach Reem work with our, our bigs, and, you know, it's been a, a struggle. Somebody had asked, weeks ago, what do certain guys have to do to get on the floor? And, and I said mature. And, and, and he's really taken a more mature approach uh, to his craft. And, um, you know, you think, you look at it and you say, well, man, if he has a plus eight, I think it was a plus 18 on one score sheet, but you said plus 21 in 16 minutes, why don't you play him more? Well, I don't know he's physically ready yet because game conditioning is different than, you know, just regular conditions. So, you know, he's going to, I just need him to, you know, not like think that this is the pinnacle for him and get happy and relax. Right now you got to, you know, lock in and, and just keep getting better because the scouting report's going to get better on you. And so, and that, that's the whole team. But um, since we're talking about him, very proud of him, though, and the hard work he's put in and, and his teammates really trust him. And so that, that's a big deal. Coach, we've asked you this many times before. What is it about overtime that brings out the best in your team? Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. We just, they, they have this belief. I think, um, you know, uh, and, and over time, it's about players making plays, man. And them dudes, they just, they don't feel the pressure, you know, and uh, we work on it every day in practice. But I don't know that that's necessarily the reason. I think um, guys just make plays and their confidence level grows. And I think our staff does a good job in those moments of not getting tight and, and giving them confidence. <laughs> 
Jerome, what would you say you did, I don't know, unique to get these guys ready for this moment on a short turnaround? Um, just dealt with their hearts. Um, you know, I, I, I'm just telling, like, I know, I knew that um, the struggles we had gone through was not necessarily physical struggles, that, that I hadn't connected with them the way I connected with the team last year. And, uh, and so you can see they were just playing basketball. They, like, they weren't playing with this love, joy, and freedom that we talk about. And because um, like, they weren't doing it because they loved us as a staff, right? Like, it's hard to, like, in the, this day and age of college basketball, it's hard to talk to kids about having pride in the uniform you wear when they've only been at your school for one year, you know, and a couple of guys, two years. But um, as a staff, if we can connect with their hearts, and, and then they play because they love us and they know that we're doing what we're doing because we love them. It gives them that little extra fight. And I thought I saw that extra fight tonight because I was transparent with them and told them I hadn't done a good job. And uh, our staff did a really good job of like just really spending time. We spent a lot of time together the, the last couple of days, and, but it was less about basketball and more about um, how much they mean to us. And, and how much we believe in them and how much we believe in what they want to do. And this is how we help you get to where you want to go. And winning, right, it will allow them to accomplish all the things they want to accomplish. And so I tell them all the time, I don't know what guarantees winning, but I know what guarantees losing. And so we just have to... Like, and, and, and moving forward, we, we got to continue. Like, like there's, there's still a stronger heart connection that can take place. We can continue to play better basketball. But you've seen, like, they've proven, like, they, they told on themselves how good they can be. And now it's us, up to us to, to love them, to want to be at that level all the time. And for you, is, does it mean anything extra to be 2-0 and against your rival at home? Um, you, know, you know, not necessarily. Um, like, it's really cool. Right, really cool to win the game, really cool. I know the tradition of that program and that man on that other side, right? Like he's, he may be the best coach in the country with everything, recruiting, coaching, in-game adjustments. I mean, just, yeah, like, I, I, don't, I, I don't know there's anybody better than him. So for our staff to be able to get our guys to play at a level that gave us a chance to, you know, to win that game, uh, that, that, that is really cool. But I know it's very important to our fans. Right, and and that's what it, this was about. I'm, I'm really thankful that our fans get to, you know, have another year of, you know, we beat them, you know, and and I know that that's important to them. Offensive rebounds have been a point of emphasis. You only gave up five today, plus got two huge ones towards the end of regulation. How happy are you with that? No development. No, really, really happy. Um, Art, Dave. You know, Jarrell, guys keeping balls alive. You know, just, just to out-rebound them was important. I tell you, I think, like, I don't know how we're going to correct the turnover issue, right? Like, I mean, you know, but, but we've won games with 17 turnovers. But we can't win games if we um, give up, we get out-rebounded, and then we put guys at the line. Like, I think before this game, teams had shot like 120-something free throws against us in four games. You can't win like that. And so we were able to guard today without fouling, and then we were able to, to get rebounds. And also you made free throws in the, after the first half. Is that just a matter of getting the right guys to the line? <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, they did a good job of fouling the right guys in the first half. And so. Uh, talking about keeping the guys off the court there, just, you know, you've kind of preached going to them and everything. And to see Tyler Perry go and jump into the stands after everybody else is done, you know, you can kind of tell what the message is kind of getting through to him. Is that kind of a point of pride for you? Um, yeah, it is. You know, I, I mean, we appreciate the students, all the fans, and, uh, you know, this is their program. Like, like we feel like if we're going to do what we want to do here, it's going to take everybody. And everyone's important. Every band member that shows up early, every uh, person in the arena who seats people and makes sure they're in the right spot and greets them with a smile, all the things matter. And, and I just hope, like, we do a good job as a team and as a staff of letting people know how much we appreciate them. Coach, how much do you feel like you guys needed this game, not just for the record and the resume, but for morale. Yeah, no, it was huge. It was huge. You know, um, 
we felt like we let one get away uh, on Saturday. And um, but you know, um, so winning at home is so important, and the schedule sets up for us. You know, we had uh, five road games in the first nine and four home games, and now we have you know, five home games and four road games. And I've said all along, if you can go nine and nine in this league, uh, you belong in the NCAA tournament. And so we took care of our home game. I noticed during starting lineups, you kind of just paused and, and said a prayer. I'm just curious, what, what was your prayer in that moment? I always ask God uh, just to bless our guys and, and give me wisdom, help me to see um, what it is that, uh, that I need to see to be able to help them be the best version of themselves. Uh, at the end of regulation, Tyler tried to game Larry miss, and then over time he hits the circus layup, big three right after. How much trust do you have in him late in these games? Uh, you know, the, the shirt says crazy faith for a reason. I got trust in all those guys, man. And, uh, you know, I, I, wanted, I, I wish he had, when he split the ball screen, mm -hmm. like if Will had rolled, when he split the ball screen, Will would have got a layup. But Will didn't roll, so when he split the ball screen, I thought he could like shoot the floater. Um, in hindsight, if he misses it, they got a chance to go get a layup on the other end, so maybe it was wise of him not to do that. And so, but yeah, uh, the guys believe in him, and he believes in himself. And the good thing, when that clock is running down, he doesn't think. I think early in the game, he thinks too much. And late in the game, he doesn't think. He's like, let's go get a shot. And so it works out better for him. And then what is the key coming Winning this game after four losses to stay locked in even after the big win. That, I mean, when we say we take every game, win or lose, and we put it in the box and we move on, we, we, we do that. You, know, you, can't, you can't allow um, wins to go to your head and losses to go to your heart. And that, that's the thing. It's like not being emotional about this, right? And um, regardless of what has just happened, we're 5-5 five and five in the Big 12. And I think anybody takes that right now. Okay, and so, um, you know, it's just, I think every team in the league has three losses. And uh, so, you know, it's just, you just can't allow it to get emotional because it's, it's basketball. Played just seven guys tonight. What went behind that? Just the feel. Just the feel. Like, Dorian had a good week of practice. Um, but, you know, it's just, just the feel. Felt we need more size out there. And um, TP never looked tired. Right. And even when I was thought about taking him out, I'd ask him and he's like, no, nah, I'm good. And did, I don't know if he got sub. Did he get sub? Yeah. Yeah. He didn't get sub. So, yeah, he was like he didn't look tired. And so um, that that's a credit to Phil, our strength coach and Luke, our trainer, who in a quick turnaround got those guys ready. One of <clears throat> Katie's big keys down the stretch here has been Furphy's kind of success. What? How did you kind of help slow him down? I, I just think he missed shots, like shots that he had made early on. You know, in in other games. I mean, I think he was shooting. He was like 16 for 29 in the Big 12. I think that's right, if I'm correct. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know. I think he just missed some shots. I know Cam had a good block on one, and I thought um, some of our length might have bothered him a little bit. Um, but um, you know, it's just sometimes. Guys miss shots, but he's a really good player. And then, if I remember correctly, I don't think you guys had a Monday game last year. Does anything go into having just that extra day of, of, of preparation? Having the only one day of preparation? Or <laughs> no, like, hey, man, to, to, to be honored to play on Big Monday is a special thing. And so, I mean, last year they didn't think we'd be very good, and so they didn't give us a Big Monday. And uh, this year they gave us a couple, so we're fired up about it and thankful. And the good thing is that you can have, you know, almost two days off after this, right? And so that, that's, that's a blessing of, of the Big Monday. Yeah, no, I did. I, I heard it when I was walking out, and, and I was not very happy. And, um, you know, uh, we will get there when that is no longer a thing uh, because we will care more about KSU than anybody else. Thank you, Coach. Appreciate the time. Hey, thanks a lot, folks. Go Cats.